Kuli za Africa. This is Louisa wa Africa. I'm going to teach you how to destroy your enemies with the the the, the with the psalm. You know, you can use your psalm nine from your Bible. Whatever language it is, it's okay. So psalm psalm two, verse nine. That's what you will be using. Psalm two, verse nine. Bisalome ya wuedi, verse 9. Ryanu rilo destroy ama di enemies tarin. So first thing, you're going to get a paper. Ukrapa mpiri nishu angrila wana ora haina machine cut edges. So ukirilo hori ino vai so even to any brown paper or parchment paper. Then, mori koning at the corners. The, on the four corners, you're going to write the name of the enemy. So, Arari, the enemy's name is John. So, I'm going to write here, John. I don't like John. I'm not saying that is who it is. Uh, this is just an example. Then, uh, uh, if you don't know them, you can still write my enemies, my enemies, my enemies. Okay? Because some enemies are very well hidden. You can just write my enemies, my enemies, my enemies, my enemies. Four times so on, on the four corners. Mori kona zela za four. Ongwala mabizu wa batu wao. Oro uka ongwala ore manaba aka, manaba aka, manaba aka, manaba aka. Again, house no feather. Right here in the middle. Then ngo ongwala he. Sila bisal mnaini to verse 9 isi bule la. And we're going to write what the psalm is saying. Or you can copy it there, whatever you want to do. So what you are going to write, uh, it says, Thou shall break them with a rod of iron. Thou shall break them with a rod of iron then uh, thou shall dash them like a Potter's vessel. Uh, la, 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 thou shalt dash them in pieces, sorry. Uh, in pieces. Ah. I'll just put it in there. Like a pot of. Like a potter's vessel. So once we have copied uh, Psalm 2, verse 9. I go in Wadile like this. You have written it on your parchment. You're just going to put it in a safe container so you don't burn up your house. You get a black candle. Black candle is very necessary. Then you're going to put it there and you will basically uh, light it. And you, you, you ask your God, God, my creator. I put this before you, I put these people before you, and I ask that you do what you promised. You said, ask and you shall receive. Here I am, I'm asking in the name of Psalm 2 verse 9, that this happen to all my enemies. Destroy them all, great God, with no mercy. So, and then you leave the candle like this to burn until it finishes, you know, that's it. So, and these people will really be powerless. They will be powerless. They cannot fight God. They cannot fight your creator. You understand? So this is what it is. As easy as this. So make sure you're using a container that will not burn up your house. Uh, you put in your, your candle wherever, but the paper must be under the candle. 
okay? And you're gonna leave it to bend like that uh, to the end. And you will see miracles in the name of the of Jesus or in the name of who your God is. The, um, I believe in a lot of gods because I believe they all have, uh, in, in, at the end of the day, we really pray into one creator, just different names. But you put this there and you will see that the power is there. So Psalms are very, very powerful. You can do this. If you want, you can do it uh, for three days, okay? You can do, do three days in a row and you will be fine and you will start seeing uh, the results because some enemies are just terrible, really. But to make sure when you do this, you really mean it uh, because there is no undoing, you understand? There is no undoing. But uh, if a person is an enemy to you, it's no... Um, I mean, without cause, then they, you can do this to them. This is how you can get them. You use the power of our creator. He promised whatever we ask, we shall receive. And you will ask that he implement the words that are in Psalm 2, verse 9, to destroy your enemies. And they will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Thank you so much, and uh, I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe.